biggest benefit of blockchain seems to be security and that is improving constantly at the government is slow to adopt a standard which we talked about earlier of cryptocurrency and thus blockchain may not be a focal point tell is this a hindrance to the gr tremendous growth prospects that we see in in blockchain and cryptocurrency and what can be done to create even more awareness when it comes to cryptocurrencies uh specifically i think it is a hindrance uh and uh it, it has not uh, stopped cryptocurrencies growth so far, but it will if it will not change, because I think it will get to a, a ceiling, a glass ceiling that will um, kind of slow down the growth if, uh, if these uh, uh, standards uh, are not set. Uh, we talked about taxation, we talked about uh, clear regulations around uh, uh, institutions uh, involved with cryptocurrencies and so on. It's really important that these get regulated um, and it will allow this market to grow um, much, much more uh, uh, fluidly. But I think if you look at other implementations of blockchain, um, the issue has not been security, actually. Um, we, uh, we see in other uh, verticals than, uh, uh, than cryptocurrencies, um, other attributes of blockchain that add significant value. So, for example, we I think we we mentioned before that uh, one of the attributes of blockchain is immutability of the network. So uh, transactions never go away; they can't be changed, uh, and so on. And that has uh, significant value for many uh, industries. Um, um, it makes sharing data and trust uh, much easier. And um, many transactional industries are spending a tremendous amount of effort around making sure that ledgers of different uh, companies involved in a transaction kind of sync and match uh, and so on. Uh, and a lot of uh, management layers for approval, uh, audits and so on. This is why a payment transaction that uh, from a technology standpoint can take uh, a minuscule fraction of a second, can take two, three days in the real world. Um, and all this can go away using blockchain technology. And the impetus for this is not, uh, is not diminished because of uh, lack of regulations we, that we talked about before. And uh, it's been, uh, blockchain has been adopted like crazy uh, under the hood in most financial industries. There is almost no large bank or financial institutions that is not involved in uh, blockchain projects in different verticals or investing in this technology or developing the capability internally. Um, and this is not slowed down. If at all, um, it, is, uh, uh, it is exploding. Uh, and as a, as a VC, I mean, these are the, the type of companies that enable this are the companies that we, uh, we invest in. Uh, so we see it very, very, very closely. How much progress is still needed on regulatory clarity around crypto assets and how hard is it given the novelty of some of the potential actions and consequences? Well, let, let me start with some of the regulatory successes. Uh, I think if the colonial pipeline hack and, and subsequent recovery of all that Bitcoin proved anything, it, it, it was that uh, this technology um, you know, can be monitored by a motivated government when there is clear evidence of infraction. And the private sector has built up uh, a number of analytical tools that will help identify dirty Bitcoin. Uh, so there's been lots of data which shows the percentage of illicit transactions on the blockchain is lower than what happens in a cash-based society. And we're hopeful that, uh, you know, the government is going to look at this as um, a tool to find bad actors uh, and not, uh, you know, a enabler of a disproportionate amount of, of bad actors.